A massive three alarm fire in Laurel destroys more than half of an apartment building. All three floors impacted, leaving this gaping hole in the roof. Dozens of residents are now displaced and left without questions uh, about how this fire even began. Janae Reese is on your corner. She joins us now live with more after speaking with residents about how they were able to escape. Janae. Vic. Residents here are just at a loss for words after a fire ripped through this building. It destroyed more than half of the 12 units. We had a chance to speak with one father who says he woke up, smelled smoke, and immediately grabbed his wife and little girl, grabbing nothing but his family. Derek Brown was simply relaxing during his vacation. I was lying on my sofa uh, watching TV. And my wife and my daughter were in the bedroom uh, lying down. And I smelled what smelled like plastic burning. So I got up and I looked out of the uh, patio door and I saw the fire coming up the wall from the bottom level. His instinct telling him to get his family outside quickly. And when I saw the flames coming up the wall, I ran to the back room and I told my wife to get up and get the baby and get out. The fire along the 9,000 block of Stebbing Way in Laurel started Wednesday morning. It quickly spread, ripping through the building, the roof partially collapsing. When crews arrived, all three floors of this apartment building were fully engulfed, fire showing. And not five minutes later, then there was like an explosion. And then the fire just engulfed the whole side of the building and, and the roof. We began our defensive attack from the outside of the structure and then began our primary searches of the building once everything was safe enough to do so. Firefighters say the Browns and others living in the building who were home at the time of the fire evacuated safely. Plus, two dogs, two cats, and a turtle were rescued. Um, we're working as hard as we can to determine what happened here, and as soon as we have that information, we'll be in contact with property managers and everybody that needs to know, and we're working with BGE as well. Crews say the flames were under control in less than an hour, but during this time, families could only watch and lean on each other. I'm really grateful and gracious to um, my neighbors, um, you know, the one young lady, she did give us this little blanket to wrap the baby's legs in and um, some water to drink. And uh, the other gentleman gave me shoes and socks to put on. And they didn't have to do that. That, that, was, that was beautiful. It was truly beautiful indeed to see the residents just come together after this tragic and hard moment here. And the fire department was able to tell us that there were no injuries, both from civilians or firefighters. Damage estimates are about $1.5 million, and there's a total of 26 residents that were displaced. Now, this investigation remains, this incident remains under investigation, rather, by the fire marshal's office. Reporting live in Laurel, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.